Hello. So what are you guys doing? We are, we, we are, we're moving the peppers in the new places. We're letting them have new little homes. Oh, I see. I see one little pepper on you. And I see one, two, three on you. And, um, I can't even count all the ones on you. Those are pretty big, hey? I'm very impressed considering how completely overcrowded. I did a count. There were 17 of these Bolivian rainbow hybrid peppers in here. Yes, they were. I think were. I planted somewhere in the vicinity of 21 or 22 in their little rows. Definitely proven that uh, they need their space, but they will grow crowded, so I don't have to be too worried about uh, my seedlings being overcrowded before they get planted out. Which is really what this is all about for me. It's learning, learning, learning. Yes, you are learning about new things. Like how much feelings plants have. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Plants can have more feelings about things than humans. In fact, certain things that just might make us a little bit sad, can make them very sad. That's something really cool. We saw the internet clip of that plant singing. Maybe I can find that. Did you see that last time you were here? Plant singing? Yeah. Very cool. It's very cool. And that must have been a very happy plant. Apparently all plants can sing according to this one scientist. Yeah. Well, I guess there's a couple of them doing the study, but... Just needs appropriate you can tools. You can sing little peppers? I would love to hear the song of these peppers. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. All right, so what are you doing to help me with this process here? I'm putting the wood chips that saves water into the peppers. Oh, that's a perfect job for you. Up we go, little peppers. Over here. Oh, I think then I might need to use the water. Okay. <laughs> so what, why is your job important? Because it helps put these... They're ready for the plants to store more water than they would be able to without these tips. Mm hmm. That helps keep the dirt from drying out. Indeed. And it looks pretty. It does indeed. <laughs> pretty important for that aquaponics dependent little sunflower. They have feelings too. So, making sure that their feelings are happy. We're giving them little wood zips that keep the water in their stuff. Have you ever thought about putting the wood zips in the fig tree? It might keep it a bit more moist. I'm trying to condition the fig tree to outdoor environment right now because it was always in her living room. So it's not used to real wind, it's not used to real sun. That's why the top of it's died off so much. But the bottom of it where it's good and solid and well established, staying firm. It's not even used to its weather, so... And it's been up here its whole life. Hmm. Well, it's, it's been inside a house its whole life. You guys have built quite a few pots so far. Mm. Look at you go. It's yes, pretty awesome what you can do go. when you have a helper. Thank you. One thing I've noticed with these overcrowded purple hybrid peppers from last year is that they're staying a lot more, I don't know, true to the shape of the original pepper, whereas the purple peppers from the same batch of seeds that are in the buckets over there. We've got some that look like chilies, we've got some that look like super chilies, we've got some that look like jalapenos. We've got some that look like little hoops. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them look really packed with seeds, but these ones here look much more like the original teardrop of the peppers that I was gifted those four seeds from last year. Either way, it's been fascinating. The purple peppers continue. <laughs> well, here is the end result of the 17 Bolivian rainbow pepper hybrids that were stuffed into that, and my daughter helped me transplant. So hopefully now that they're in individual containers and their roots have a little more room to spread out, they can all get to be like that big one over there. Or better yet, like this big one here. And this is from the same envelope of seeds harvested last year from the Bolivian rainbow peppers. But as you can clearly see, these peppers come in some different sizes, shapes, and even colors. 
than the little Bolivian rainbow peppers did last year. So know that going in, if you're going to save your own pepper seeds, they will probably have crossbred with whatever's handy. Well, that's it for now. I just thought I'd show you what's going on with my purple pepper hybrids and uh, encourage you to, hey, go on out there, save your own seeds. You might get what you were looking for. You might get something entirely new. Look at those. Not what I was expecting.